Welcome to my world. What's up guys, it's Jace, and listen, I have to apologize to you guys, because I have been, um, I have not been as dedicated as I was on YouTube for the last couple of days. I haven't been really putting 100% effort. Something just came out of the, up there and it just fell almost, oh my God, there's a damn pigeon. It was shit. Bastard. Bro, those owls do not do anything for me. They don't do anything. They're, the pigeons keep shitting. It was freaking crap. Look at it right there. God, that's nasty. Could have fallen on my head. What a way to start the day. Jeez. Anyways, guys, um, I'm sorry I've been neglecting you guys. I've just been like taking care of so many things, but finally the hangover's over. <laughs> Thank God. I still have a little bit of a stomach ache, but overall it's feeling like it's going away and I woke up really happy. I don't know if you guys can tell when this happens. Sometimes like the weather changes and you can instantly tell like it, it changes your mood. Like I can kind of feel that the weather's kind of like Christmas type of weather. It's very strange. It's, it's a gift that I have. Anyways, um, Today we are going to have dinner at my mom's house. We did hear some bad news. Um, yesterday I heard the bad news. It was like, it was like so so much shit was hitting me yesterday with the hangover. And then they called me and they told me that uh, my stepdad's dad, which is like my grandfather, I've known him for 20 years. Uh, well, no, not for 20, for like 15 years. Um, they found that he had liver cancer. So they're saying that he might have only like three months to live or something like that. And it says it says it's pretty advanced, you know. So. Like, uh, that shit affected me mentally. I mean, I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but all you hear about on the news, all you hear about anywhere, it's about death. So, like, eventually it starts getting to you. Like, you start, like, you know, fucking, um, this guy, Gerardo, the, the comedian, he, he overdosed on pills. They're saying accidental, accidental overdose. That's bullshit, man. We all know that guy didn't accidentally overdose. How the fuck do you accidentally overdose? You know the dosage you're supposed to take. And to overdose, it takes, like, and then, like, that's all you hear in the news, people dying, death. Like, you don't hear shit. Some guy just survived cancer. Like, nobody ever puts, like, anything positive. And I feel like all this negative energy affects me mentally, whether I believe it or not. But anyways, I want to know if that affects you guys. I really do want to know. I know lately I haven't been interacting with you guys as much as I used to. But I want to know what you guys think. Does that, like... Does that affect you guys? Like, when you hear news, like, this whole shit with Lindsay Lohan, she's constantly... The girl's rich as hell. She has like she she had a career. I mean, her career could still she could still save her career if she plays it smart. And the girl's doing drugs. She's going to rehab. She keeps like like it's a constant fuck up. Like, why would you do this if you have everything going for you? Accomplish what you wanted to accomplish. Like, what the fuck? Like, all of us here on YouTube and stuff, we're all trying to succeed in that goal. And then these people that make it, they just like. I mean, I can't. I mean, I can't speak for them. I don't know. It must be really boring. Like when you have all the money in the world and. You get bored of shit, you know, but anyways, I'm jabbering. Anyways, guys, we're going to be, answer those questions for me. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for all the support, even though, guys, I know that I've been, like, neglecting big time, but I'm back on it. Love you guys. I feel like a million bucks. So I'll see you guys uh, on the road. All right, guys, so we're here at my sister's, at my mom's house, and my mom's not here. She prepared dinner for us. She got everything set up, but she's not here. Look, guys, my sister has fake hair on and fake contacts. Like, what the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, babe? Um, Direct TV. Putting our programs to record. Okay, good. God, another boring day. I thought that it was going to be entertaining, guys. <laughs> well, boy, was I. Be entertaining. We're going to a party. I mean, honestly, I thought I was going to be doing something. I thought this house was going to be much more interactive, and it's not. But uh, I'm going to be eating dinner soon, so I'll let you guys see what my mama cooked me. Oh, what are you doing? I'm eating. That's oh, you what you're always funny? doing. I don't care. I like food. I'm skinny still, so who cares? Are you skinny? I'm skinny. I think I'm skinny. Oh my god, look at this. Bro, this big, is the fat best. cake, man. What is wow. it? It is... I don't know, it's in Spanish. Something Napoleon. I'll tell you right now. Um, it is... Yeah. Hey, Mr. J. Saber. No, Pauline. You need to clean your plate. No, that's what women are for. You really want to get <laughs> women on those comments? No, I'm just playing. Thing? That's not what women are for. No. Uh -huh. That's what women. That's what are women that are with men for. Oh yeah, fuck you. <laughs> All right. If you guys are wondering why I'm at CVS at this time, it's because Emma forgot to let me know that there was no dog food for the dog. So on a Friday at 12 o'clock at night, I'm at CVS looking for dog food. 
Here we go. Oh, this looks good for the box. Alright guys, so I thought the day was going to be more entertaining, but it was a boring ass Friday. So anyways guys, tomorrow we're surprising my cousin for his birthday. We all tricked him this whole week and told him that tomorrow on Sunday there's going to be a barbecue, but in reality, it's tomorrow. So the barbecue's on Saturday, and we're surprising him, and we're gonna give him like a surprise because his birthday's on October second. So, therefore, guys, I am like like looking forward to surprising the shit out of him. He's not gonna expect it. It's gonna be pretty good footage. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me. Love you guys. Have a safe and great weekend. It's Chase Haver, the Miami vlogger.